Here we hear Santiago land his, the left hand as he's been landing continually all the way through the fight. And he's trying to put together another clean shot, but was not able to land too many more clean, effective blows together to follow up with it. Seconds out, let's go. and Santiago goes and after stop, Lovano stop, again. Stop, stop, stop. That time, Lovano is able to block the straight left hand, one of the first times he's gotten his glove in front of it. Yeah, that's what it most for. He just, he just Lovano, takes the stop, punch. Stop. He doesn't roll his shoulder, do anything defensively. He just, just accidentally he gets away from the field, but he doesn't have any set defensive mode. And you would expect that him to have something, particularly with all the experience he's had. So far, but it just even though he's winning, it seems like he doesn't have the, the crack out of the, the speed of the punches from Santiago. Stop, stop. Well, he seems to have doomed himself to having to fight Santiago's fight by making decisions in the very first round to be more aggressive than normally has been the case. He's now put himself in a situation where he seems to be uncomfortable if he doesn't go ahead and trade with the more aggressive gotcha. fighter. And the Santiago, see, even though I think he's losing his round, seems to be very comfortable with the situation. Seems to be just biding his time. I got you, I got you. On the other hand, if in fact other judges agreed with Harold Letterman that Luevano won the first three or four rounds, Santiago may still be trying to overhaul him on the scorecards and would be loath to want to give away a round at this stage of the fight. His corner's thinking knockout. But Loewe knows the survivor. Oh, he might find a way oh, to get through it. Hands free. Clean fight, baby. Stop, stop, stop. In the fourth and fifth round, good stop, body stop. shots helped to set up what Santiago wanted to do. He'd be well advised to remember to go back to the body now. But this seems to be a good round for Loewe knows. She needs to try to score good point. It, uh, Santiago is very relaxed, seems well, to feel that he's in control, but nevertheless, I feel that Levin was winning this round. And he got steadier on his feet in this round after looking as though he was lost at sea for the three preceding stanzas. Time, time, time. A beautiful shot of Las Vegas outdoors. The temperature a cool and breezy 105 or so the last couple of days here. As you look around the strip in Las Vegas and the casinos, you can see the effect of the gloomy economy on this town's tourist and gambling trade. It hasn't been the same 
as what we've experienced here at this time of year in the past. It'll be interesting to see what kind of a crowd we get in the casino tonight. Promoter Bob Arum has been tremendously outspoken about the damage that is being done to boxing by the business economy and the atmosphere that exists in the United States right now. So who has the answers down the stretch? Three rounds to go. As Steven Loebano and Mario Santiago go back to the center of the ring, there's a huge left hand for Santiago to start the tenth, and Loebano's in trouble again. Santiago drives him into the ropes, looking to finish. Throws a body shot. Loebano will sting in front of him. Stop, 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 it's going to be stop, interesting stop, since this is happening at the beginning of the round instead of the end of the round, which has been in the previous stop, stop. cases. Makes it appear as though Santiago truly took the ninth round off to set himself up for this rally. He rocks Loebano again. Stop, stop. Let's see if very quickly we can sneak in Harold Letterman's scorecard. How do you have it come to the 10? Chip, I, I've got it 5 to 4 I got to uh, Loebano because Mario Santiago gave that ninth round away. But Mario won four rounds in a row before that. Certainly he's in control here. 5 4 Loebano. Santiago stop. with a big start in the 10th round. Both guys' faces have held up pretty doggone well considering the punishment they've taken. I would say it's been a real grueling fight, and not much boxing, actually, just been power punches from both fighters throughout the whole fight. No severe cuts, no major swelling so far. Levino lands a straight left hand of his own, and his punch is clearly not as powerful as those of Santiago, and right in front of us on the ropes, Santiago goes to work again. Big uppercut for Santiago. Loebano fires back, and Santiago just throws him into the ropes, as if to say, stand still, you're my target. By the action being so vicious and exciting, stop, stop, stop. And, and Let him go. the first part of the round, but this is going to be a very tough round for someone right here, because if what happens if Santiago doesn't finish it, which is what I thought could happen, now Loebano is coming back because Santiago needs to take a break. Two resolute body shots by Loeva. Loeva, oh, one with stop, each hand, stop, stop. Yeah, momentarily stop. stemmed the tie. And I look at San Diego's legs are looking weak right now. Well, you can get punched out when you go after somebody like that, and Santiago clearly now needs a breather of his own. And he did it in the beginning of the round. 45 seconds to go in the round. Loeva now pulling Santiago into the corner. They take turns being the target. The hold, the hold. Stop, stop. What a fight! Santiago's legs is going right now, so he needs to recoup if he can make it through this round. What a tremendous fight to start the evening off. If the main event is this good, you've gotten your money's worth. And finally, the swelling begins as Steven Loebano's left eye is beginning to swell shut. Santiago looking for room to breathe as the 10th round comes to a close. Big right hand by Loebano, but from too far a distance to do major damage. Two rounds to go. Come on, Mario, you had it there, Mario. Thank you. Okay? Come on, it's under your mind. Come on, let's go. You're not tired. Okay? Come on. That's what you've been working on, right? Let's Here you see at the very beginning of the last round, you see Santiago come out and land a tremendous right hook right at the beginning of the round and followed up with a crushing left cross. The biggest problem is when you do this in the early part of the round, you take the fear of getting tired. Here's a big flurry he has near the end of the round when he went all out to try to finish the fight. Seconds out. Box numbers for power punches in the tent. Luevano 15 out of 43, mostly in the latter half of the round. Santiago 18 out of 43, mostly in the first half of the round. Harold Letterman gives the tenth to Santiago, and now the fight is even on his scorecard. High drama in the 11th and 12th with Steven Luevano's world featherweight title belt on the line. 
Mario Santiago watched his countryman and friend Juan Manuel Lopez annihilate Daniel Ponce de Leon in Atlantic City a few weeks ago with an amazing right hook assault in the first round that produced a quick knockout. He said, I'm inspired, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's been a whole different kind of fight, but he may have a foothold toward lifting Luevano's world title here. Suddenly, it's a boxing match with five minutes to go. And once again, Levino gets hit with a left hand. It seems like he's gotten what he's used to getting hit with so many of them that it doesn't even bother him as much as it was earlier in the fight. And Santiago, who was an all-out power thrasher in the last round, has his hands up, his feet moving, and is looking to outbox the boxer. Yep, and he's got his head up, too. It's, that's the only problem. 